Sources are saying that the world is preparing to fight climate change with nuclear as a clean baseload power source. New reactor builds have begun popping up all over the globe as 25 countries pledge to triple global nuclear capacity by 2050. The only problem with all of this? We expect to see a surge in demand for nuclear fuel in the next couple of decades, and the world isn't mining nearly enough of it. Most experts agree that there are between 9 and 20 million tons of land-based uranium in the world, most of which hasn't been discovered yet. At current consumption rates, this would provide a supply that lasts up to 230 years, but that of course is only if we actually make moves to obtain it. And if humanity actually lasts that long, so place your bets now. Uranium can be found underground in many countries as well as in seawater, but around two-thirds of the world's current supply comes from Australia, Kazakhstan, and Canada. The US has vast reserves of uranium that are largely untapped, especially in New Mexico, Utah, Colorado, Wyoming, Texas, and Virginia. There are a few different ways to mine for uranium. The traditional method is called open cast or open pit mining, where you dig a hole in the ground and get a bunch of uranium-laced rock, which we call ore. You usually get one to four pounds of uranium for every ton of ore. Another method is underground mining, where tunnels are dug underground to get the ore, which is good for when uranium reserves are deeper in the Earth's crust. This also means less waste rock and environmental exposure. A relatively newer method is called in situ mining, which is now the most popular. Here, they pump a solution into the ground, and when they suck it back out, it has uranium in it. While in situ mining is generally considered less invasive, the best mining method is completely unique to each site. And I know what some people are thinking. Don't uranium mines give people cancer and pollute groundwater? Well, we're gonna cover all of that in part two, and also explain to you why we need more of them, so stay tuned.